Now, I'm calling these diamond oldies. No longer golden oldies. Because gold doesn't cost anywhere near what diamonds do. And have a look at what Australia's government's spending if you're old. And I guess what? I'm moving into that band, so I'm happy about this. I'm not far from the promised land. They're going to pump $515 million to give all the aged care workers in Australia a 15% pay rise. Now, literally all of the aged care facilities in Australia are not run by the government. They're private these days. The government just pays for them. So they've decided, hey, we want to give all those dudes a pay rise, but we'll pay for it. Even as your staff member, I'll give you the money for it. Now, people have short memories. These are the same people that were getting lambasted only a few years ago for not doing a good job. Now we're giving them a 15% pay rise. Now, the thing that worries me about that is that is inflationary, but it's also headline. Because if you're going to give it to the aged care... Why did the nurses miss out? They did a great job. Why did the firemen miss out? They did a wonderful job. What about the policemen? So how are you going to stop this? You talk about contagion, that's contagion. And you've set a dangerous precedence. But when you're getting in all those billions of dollars, who cares? We'll give it to them when they ask. $309 million is going to build the framework to police these people that were about to pay a lot more because they weren't doing a good job before. And we need to make sure that they do a better job now that they got 15% more. $827 million to improve their care services, including COVID and things like that. $591 million just for COVID measures. The fact that they have to do more tests and all this sort of stuff. All government funded. And I thought COVID was yesterday, but apparently not. And then there's 338 million to improve the number of at-home positions so that you don't have to go into aged care. You can stay in your own home and people come and help you. Now, I did some quick maths. That's about $19,000 per package. Now, if Australia really wanted to fix it, all we have to do is give me a Filipino maid. What's a Filipino maid? He costs, what, six, dollars $700 a month? I've got a spare room in my house. Job done. But we can't do that in Australia. That would be way too sensible. And they would look at that wrongly because they'd be getting more than the award wage. But we're going to spend $338 million. It's going to save them $2 billion in saving by also keeping you at home. So that $338 million is allegedly money well, well spent because if we can keep you at home rather than putting you into an aged care facility, there's $2 billion of savings. So they're going to drop the places in aged care. So just make sure you've got you know, no stairs in the houses that you buy. That's the, the secret here. Stay there. And they'll come out and do all sorts of things, maintenance, lawn mowing, the whole lot.